High in the deserts of western China, a mountain hides something no one can explain. Iron pipes run through its caves and into the dry lake below. Who built them, or could they have formed on their own? Why do local legends speak of a palace in the sky above this very peak? And why, after decades of study, does the mystery of the bygone pipes remain unsolved? The Kaidam Basin stretches for miles, a barren land of salt flats, thin air, and relentless wind. At its edge rises Mount Baigong, a solitary peak surrounded by desert silence. Within its slopes lie caves where rust-red fragments jut from the stone, enigmatic traces of something both ancient and enduring. These are known as the Baigong Pipes. Three caves pierce the mountain's flank. Two lie collapsed, sealed by time, but in the third, the walls are streaked with metallic forms. Some pipes are thick as a man's arm, others barely the width of a finger. They dive deep into stone, vanishing from sight as though drawn by a hidden design. At first, the pipes seemed a curiosity of geology, but when explorers looked closer, they realized they were not scattered randomly. Some appeared to run in alignment, others clustered together as if following a plan. Then came the greatest shock. The surrounding sediments suggested an age of more than 100,000 years. If the estimate was true, the pipes predated every known human settlement in the region. Explanations arose. Perhaps they were the remains of trees turned to stone over the ages, their roots transformed into iron through natural processes. Yet the regularity of their forms, the way they plunged into solid mountain and stretched outward toward the lake shore, gave pause. If this was nature's work, it was a pattern unlike any other. The more researchers examined the pipes, the more difficult the riddle became. Their distribution was not limited to the caves. On the barren shores of Lake Tosan, broken sections protruded from the ground, while others rested beneath the surface of the lake itself. In places, the fragments appeared weathered, but their cylindrical shapes held firm, as though resistant to the eroding hand of time. When samples were tested, the results defied easy answers. Some pieces seemed to carry traces of organic matter, hinting at the possibility of ancient wood transformed by minerals. Others appeared crystalline, hardened in ways not typical of fossilized roots. Most unsettling of all, a small fraction of the material resisted classification altogether. This uncertainty sparked a divide. Geologists leaned toward natural explanations, pointing to the slow chemistry of groundwater and mineral deposits that could mimic artificial forms. Yet other observers saw the matter differently. To them, the hollows and straight edges suggested intent, as though the pipes were more than accidents of stone and sediment. Stories passed among nomadic peoples spoke of lights that danced above Baigong's peaks. Old legends described a palace in the heavens, once standing above the mountain before vanishing into the sky. Whether folklore or memory, the tales seemed to echo the unanswerable questions raised by the pipes themselves. The site became a battleground of ideas, one side seeking to fold the mystery into the laws of geology, the other daring to imagine it as evidence of something that human history had overlooked or was never meant to uncover. Time has not resolved the debate. The bygone pipes still rest in their mountain chambers and along the desolate shore of Lake Tosan, silent against the wind. No excavation has uncovered tools, dwellings, or traces of a culture that might have left them behind. No single theory has commanded agreement. In their silence lies their power. They force us to reckon with the scale of time, the possibility that the Earth itself preserves structures that seem alien to our understanding. They remind us how much remains hidden beneath our feet, waiting in stone and salt for questions we may never fully answer. To some, the pipes are nothing more than the Earth's forgotten handiwork, shaped without intention, misread as technology by minds eager for mystery. To others, they stand as mute testimony to an age before our own, when forces unknown walked across the high deserts of Qinghai. The truth remains elusive. What is certain is this. On a remote mountain, beneath skies vast and empty, the bygone pipes endure. They are not merely fragments of iron, they are symbols of the unknown, a reminder that the past still keeps secrets. 
and that sometimes the most haunting stories are the ones carved into the silence of the earth itself.